here is the work area of one of the greatest effects masters in the business. Friends and co-workers refer to him only as Cubby. Jet Crash. Pilot? Let's just stay silent and watch the maestro in action. Good breakage. Bravo, Custer, bravo. Working overtime as usual? Ah, you know, just perfecting the breakaway lab equipment for next week's episode. Wouldn't want the star's head to go red. See? Candy glass. You want to try one, Jet's mom? Uh, no, thanks. No, no, you do. I'll pass. Jet, can I go home now, or is there something more to this studio tour? Sorry, you know, I, I just thought you wouldn't be familiar with the place. Familiar? Jet, Cuppy was at my house for dinner. Oh! <laughs> you just said I was going to be directing next week's episode, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. You know, one of our directors dropped out, and they were looking for a replacement, so I recommended you. They said, OK. That is, if you want to do it, you know, if you want to. I want. I want. I want. <laughs> Silverstone, the ultimate action hero. Top agent for a secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Willstead, North Carolina. Now, I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid. But some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. Caught it and smushed it. Smushed it. Oh, well, just a fly. On the contrary, it was a one million dollar fly cam that was still in its early stages. Apparently, it needs to go back to the drawing board to become smush proof. Good thing we found that out early. Oh, yes. No telling what disaster could have befallen the world. Speaking of which, your new assignment. Yesterday, two armored cars were robbed in broad daylight. That's interesting but I saved the world from terrorist plots. I don't do armored car heists. Until now. Abigail Biederman, age 76, 35 years as a volunteer nurse, funded numerous charities and twice a Good Samaritan of the Year award winner. And Mary Beth Canty, age 17, cheerleader, president of the Pep Club, Friendship Club, and lead soprano in the Teens, 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 Teen Choir. Witnesses. No. That doesn't make any sense. Why would two people who define goodness turn to robbing armored cars? Boris and Dr. Cyrus? Exactly. Our sources tell us Dr. Cyrus has discovered the gene for pure evil. And with the help of your old friend, Boris, they've been testing it out on human guinea pigs. And if they can turn a kindly old woman into cheerleader into criminals, they can infect anyone. Or everyone. And cut! Good work. Great work, everyone. Nice scene, Mike. Thanks, Jules. <laughs> excellent. Jeff, excellent. Yeah, so, Mom, you got anything special planned for the next scene? Something nice, something new? Uh, well, of course, but um, I wasn't really through with this scene yet. You're kidding. It was great. We nailed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. It was, it was very, very good. But, you know, I just thought it could be better. Why not? <laughs> hey, guys, we're going to go again, OK? Thanks. Okay, people, let's go. Going again. Mm -hmm. JB, since when did the price of milk go up to $339? That's supposed to be $3.39. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Luckily, my head broke my fall. Why do kids try and please their parents by to do things they can't possibly do. From the look on your face, something is eating at you. Yeah. My dad was about to cancel his trip to the grocer's convention because he wanted to reorganize the store. 
Clear the stock, clean the floors, reconfigure the shelves, and then restock. It was going to take him a couple of days, and he would have missed the convention. So you volunteered to do it for him? I just finished dusting, and that took me five hours. I was going to ask Kayla for her help, but she's studying for midterms. Something I should be doing, too. Sounds like you need a crash course in cleaning and organization. <laughs> that was so much fun today, Jet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I did, I did do okay, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, you were fine. After a couple bumpy moments, you sailed right through the day. Jet said you were great. Oh, what bumpy moments? Well, it wasn't really bumpy, just some small bumpy, um, not that big, glitches. Glitchettes, really, it was so small, very small. <laughs> Jet, if, if I did anything wrong, I, I want to know. Oh, no, Mom, you didn't do anything wrong. It just takes a while for the crew to get used to a new director. But they did, and, and the day was great. You were great. Mm. OK. Because if, if you're not happy, then I'm not happy. Well, I'm happy. Miss Coretta cooked her famous lasagna tonight. It's planning to go around, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but um, I got a big day tomorrow, and I want to be prepared, which is the reason I stopped by. Sweetie, just so we're on the same page from the get-go tomorrow, could you stop by the set an hour early so we could go over your dialogue? <laughs> I know my lines, Ma. <laughs> Well, I, I usually do my schoolwork before I go to the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stop by early. <laughs> Thank you, Jet. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Bye, Jules. Bye. Hey, nice job, JB. The store looks back to normal, and you even have enough time to study for midterms. Way to go. Thanks, but I didn't do anything to the store except clean up the mess I made. <sighs> but just yesterday, you were freaking out because you promised your dad you'd have everything done by the time he got back. Yes, but that was yesterday. Today, I am not freaking. After a heart-to-heart -heart with Ms. Coretta, she turned me on to some guy named Crash who specializes in cleanup and reorganization. Oh. So, is your dad going to pay for the extra help? No, but I am. The guy will be in and out before dad even comes home. What could go wrong? Your crash? No way! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could see for a minute there. I thought you were Crunch. At... Crash's cousin. He's in uh Paris. So, um Stuck with me. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Dr. Cyrus's secret lab. Not much of a secret anymore, is it? Right. Now, enter through the west intake seal and proceed through the vent to the generator room. Is something wrong? You just, you just said, we'll enter. Correct. Uh, with Hawk on vacation, I will be filling in for her. If you have a problem with that, please speak up. No, no, it's not a problem. It's just more... Good. Fun. And may I remind you, I wrote the book on urban assault. Literally. And cut! Jet, can we talk? Mom, plain and simple, that scene rocked. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it <laughs> yeah. totally rocked. Okay. I'll accept that little eyebrow thing you did when you told Artemis to get your best. You mean this? Yeah, that. I don't think it works. Of course it works. It always works. It's my trademark. I do whatever show. We're doing a pickup, people. Trust me, baby. Less is more. OK, let's move it. Let's go. Reset for pickup. What's wrong with that? OK. How about if we just, we just do one kick? So it's like right at camera, like wham, right in the audience's face. You mean like this? The way we did it the first time. Yeah, yeah, like that, but, um, but, but bigger. Oh. 
What? We've been working for an hour on the same move. And now you want to go back to where we started from. I, I, I just want to explore my options. Do you, do you have a problem with that? Look, Ma, I've been doing this show for a while now. I know when something's working and when something's not. But you don't seem to care about my opinion. Well, of course I do. I just want to make this the best show ever. So do I. And that's why I suggest that, as the guest director, you start directing the show that's been number one in this time slot for the past four years and stop trying to direct your own personal masterpiece. Do that. How cool is it to be working with your son? Oh. Okay. So, what I need is the stock cleared and repriced, the shelves, floors, and lights washed, move the shelving cases to their new locations, restock the shelves, put back up the signs, and you're done. Got it? Understand? <laughs> Man, I love this song. You heard it. Did you understand anything I just said? Uh, kinda. I am going to the library. I will be back in two hours to check on you. Do you need some help? Who is that? It's me, Boris. Your partner? Why didn't you tell me you were here? Well, I didn't think I needed to. We had lunch together. I drove you here. I gave you that injection gun. Uh, never mind. Give me that. I will load the evil gene serum myself. I am so brilliant. <laughs> hey, Wacky, give me that big, you crazy old twack. You have my handicap. <laughs> Seems that you have mixed a very important batch this thing. <laughs> Let the kitty out. Let, let the kitty outside. I think she let herself out. And us in. This experiment's over, gentlemen. Where are my men? We'll take the cheerleader and the doughboy. I'll take the old woman. Words I never thought I'd say. And cut. That's a cut. Is that good for you, Jules? Yes, I liked it, Jeff. And I'll be in my trailer. Moving on, people. We're gonna have a problem with the economics. <laughs> I am so dead. Okay, JB. Do I look okay? No. Then I'm not okay. Hey, okay, calm down. Look, the store looks pretty bad, but but you said your dad's not gonna be home till tomorrow afternoon, right? Right. No telling how much damage Crunch will do by then. Hey, Jet's mom, you're here late. Yeah, I just thought I'd get in some shot listing for tomorrow. Oh, oh, by the way, Cubby, thank you so much for your help this week. I mean, you put in a lot of extra hours, and it really helped me out. Oh, contraire, mon director. I work this hard on every show. No one works harder than me. Than I. OK, then both of us. The truth, um, I'm awed by the amount of time and uh, and energy you're putting into this. And the cast and crew are talking about how you're taking this show up <clears throat> a notch. Really? Thank you. That, that's nice to hear. You think I was destroying a masterpiece the way Jet's been treating me. OK. Here's where I take my young life in my hands. If you don't mind my saying, 
You've been treating him pretty badly, too. <laughs> no, I haven't. I have treated him like every other actor on the set. I have shown him no favoritism whatsoever. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. And don't bother going to the no, I haven't card again, because I'm going to tell you how you have, unless, of course, you being the director decide to fire me first. Your employment's safe. OK. Now, you came in here raring to go, had everything thought out, even how you were going to treat Jet. Right so far? So far. OK. And you were so grateful for this opportunity and so respectful of his position on this show that you vowed not to show him any favoritism. You're making my point for me. Sounds like that, doesn't it? But I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. No, I'm not. You singled him out after every take. You made him do scenes over and over again for the smallest reason, and you never trusted his instincts. Those same instincts, I might add, that told him that you would make a great director. Like it or not, you treated him differently than everyone else, and that Madam Director is favoritism. Hi. Come in early to get a head start. It's almost nine. I did come in early. But you haven't done anything. I've been thinking. You are way too young to be so tired. Oh, and your dad called? And he said he was coming home today. What time? Did he say what time? Yeah. Well? Um, yeah, he said early. <laughs> he said early. He was way more relaxed than you. Yeah, well, he won't be when he sees what you've done to his store. It's kind of messy, isn't it? Kinda. I'm gonna have to stay home from school and help you. Mmm, cool. Um, isn't today the day you have your midterms? Oh, I'm so dead. We could have taken them. Of course we could have. But those were innocent people that had an evil gene injected into them. They couldn't help themselves. And we couldn't very well have taken out a cheerleader and an old woman. Right. But we could have taken them. Yes, of course we could. Well, look at what we have here. Hmm? Silverstone and Artemis, all ready to be turned evil. Who wants to be bad first, hmm? <laughs> So, did you like it? Yeah, I like it. What does that matter? I, I did, too. Moving on, everyone. Great scene. Uh, Mr. Jackson, could the uh, director have a word with you? if I could just direct the best episode ever or do something that makes an impact to everyone here, you'd know, you'd see, you'd, you'd be proud of me. Well, you're too late. I already was. I'm so sorry. I came in here thinking that I was gonna conduct this big orchestra and all I really wanted to do was dance with you. <laughs> but, Mom, I have some apologizing to do, too. I thought your whole perfectionist thing was going to ruin Silverstone. But I took a look at some of what we shot so far, and this episode rocks. <laughs> I love it. The network loves it. You were right about almost everything. Mm -hmm. Everything except this. W what can I say? It's just cool. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, Mimi, Mimi, Mo. What do you think now is a good time? 
Yeah, that'd be a good time. This will not help you, Silverstone. Because he who holds the injection gun rules the world. That's catchy. Mind if I use it? He who holds the injection gun rules the world. You think I'm a blind old fool, don't ya? Well, I'm not! Jail now, please. I'll be kept away from hurting all society. The new evil genes must have neutralized his own evil genes. He's turned nice. I love you guys. Come. On. Well, at least the store is still standing. Don't believe this. It's... It's beautiful. Crunch, I don't know what to say. Cleaned up pretty nice, huh? I'm sorry I ever doubted you. No problem, dude. This place is spotless. Crunch, you are a genius. Well, this is money well spent. Oh, no, I mean... Crash may take cash, but crunch doesn't. I do it for the love of my hate for dirt. Wherever there is dirt, man, I'll clean it. Wherever there is dust, I'll sweep it. Whatever grimy, disgusting job exists, I'll do it. Except windows. I don't do windows. Except if they're really, real dirty. 